Hey, good morning, y'all. This morning we're going to try a little crappie fishing from the bank. It is um, late April. This morning it's close to 50 degrees, going to warm up to about 70 degrees today. I'm just going to be using a uh, little 2 watt hook here, pre leadered. I believe it's an eagle claw. Got a little split shot sinker. And, uh, this is a, uh, well, I've got a mess, but <laughs> this is just a, a slotted peg float. It's about two, two and a half inches. Now, you can use one smaller than that. Um, smaller the better, in my opinion. I'm using these. I, you know, to be honest, I bought a whole bunch of them in bulk and got a good deal. But also, I wanted something that hopefully y'all can see, you know, when I get a bite. But, uh and uh, we're going to be using live minnows. I bought about three dozen this morning at the store. And, uh, well, minnows are getting expensive. So I hope we catch a mess of fish. <laughs> but anyway, we're about to get some bait in the water, y'all. Stay with me. All righty, y'all. I got my... Oh, let's get down here and get us one. Now... Opinions vary on the best places to hook these guys. I like to go right in the top of the back between the head and that fin, just like so. He can, uh, I don't know if y'all can see him, but he can swim around, he'll live a long time, and uh, we're going to be fishing. Oh, probably about two and a half, three foot deep. But now that may change. We'll just see how the, the bite goes. Y'all see that shad out there. Um, this is also a good place to catch uh, shad for uh, catfishing too. But <laughs> anyway, we're going to get us some. Uh, I got four rods this morning. We're going to get these out. Let me talk about them for a minute. These are all eight foot. I think a couple of them's a little longer. One's a little shorter because it got broke off. That might be this one, and I had to fix it. But just cheap rods. You don't need nothing, you know, real fancy fishing fishing like this. But um, And they've all got Zebco 33s on them. Some are a little newer. Some are a little older, you know. It's got, I think I've got 8-pound test line on all these. And you really don't need line that heavy, but in the springtime, everything's eaten. So it, I wouldn't be surprised today if I didn't hook into a 10 pound blue catfish, you know. <laughs> but uh, all right, y'all, we're going to get this bait out here and see if we can uh, catch us a few crappie this morning. Oh, there goes one, y'all. He's. Easing on off with it there. There he goes. We're about to get him. Boom. Oh, how did we not get him? My goodness, y'all, I'm rusty. <laughs> rusty. Hold on. Oh, y'all, there goes one. I was on the phone. <laughs> I got another one going over here, y'all. There's a sand bass. <laughs> what the heck's going on? Oh, what we got here now? Let's see. It's not a crappie. That looks like a large mouth. It's a bass. Yeah, a little large mouth. Well, all right. We got some action. It ain't what we're after, but we got some action. Get back in there. 
Yeah, I was on the phone with my wife and looked up. One was gone. And uh, one was running off and one was completely gone. <laughs> well, there we go, little feller. All right. Well, we're catching fish. It ain't the fish we was after, but we've caught some. Look here. <laughs> that bit more like a crappie to me. But it ain't. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Another bass. Y'all had four rods in the water. At one time, hey, you, we ain't fishing for you this morning, okay? Healthy looking little fella, ain't he? <laughs> All right. Let's get these rods back in the water. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right, well, maybe we get all, get all them a sore lip, they'll leave us alone and we can catch some crappie. <laughs> I hope. I really want to take home a mess of crappie. Especially the, with the price of them minnows. Whew. I'm going to have to start jig fishing a little more. I've been doing it a little, but not a whole lot picking up some pointers here and there I just like this kind of fishing putting my bait in the water and sitting in my lawn chair which I don't sit in my chair a lot but uh, this is just what I like to do that constant man that's a lot of work <laughs> no it's a lot of fun too I just enjoy this more but uh, y'all, I'm losing my mind. I was looking for my bait and it's right here in this bucket. Yeah, using this many rods is Sometimes a little bit of work to keep everything just where it's supposed to be. But that's how I like it. <laughs> I don't mind being busy anyway. All right, let's let's get this coffee. Here we go. Now it's a uh, it's pretty deep right out here. Oh, you know, I'm not sure, but there were some guys crappie fishing over here beside me. I think there's some brush piles over there. They said it's about 14, 15 foot deep. I know when I throw my net out here, when I do catch bait here, it takes a little while to sink. So, I mean, it's pretty deep, but you got this rocky shoreline and these uh, weed beds. Over there's a bunch of weed beds. You know, it's a good looking area. If, you, if you've if you not bank fished for crappie before, it's kind of the stuff you want to look for. Which we have yet to catch crappie. We've caught two other species of fish. <laughs> but uh, no crappie yet. Uh oh, just got a cup of coffee, y'all. You know how that goes, don't you? God, doggies. Easing off slow with it. <laughs> You're gonna put it to him right there. Got us a little crappie. I wanted to say that's biting like a crappie, but I did that while ago and looked like a dummy. <laughs> That hook 
down in there, didn't he? I got him. Little bitty feller. I was starving to death. I'd eat him. We don't have a size limit here. But that's 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 really pushing the limits there. Get us another mina. I got a, a tangle in the works over there. Those two are pretty close together. That's what happens when you try to port. Oh, <laughs> shoot, y'all. We got to get that one. It hit like a good one. Oh. <laughs> I got a little excited there for a minute. Look at the size of that sucker. What in the world? Looks like a. That ain't a war mouth, is it, y'all? You know, there's lots and lots of kinds of sunfish. I would have to look this one up, but it is pretty, ain't it? I think that's a war mouth. But, uh, it might be a red ear, but I'm gonna go with war mouth. Y'all can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I ain't above being wrong. I ain't above learning either, so. If I'm wrong, just go ahead and educate me. Boy, he's about big enough to eat, though. That's that's nice. But we're going to let him go. All right. Y'all see what happened when I pour that cup of coffee? <laughs> I got two rods on the bank now. <laughs> go on back, buddy. <laughs> Oh, no, he's still there. Got it. Oh, there's a good one, y'all. There's a good one. You know, I just dropped that down a little deeper. I caught one over there on that other one. I had set it about four foot deep. But sometimes you gotta adjust your, your depth a little bit. All right. Hey, that's definitely a keeper there. We're going to put him in the basket. Pretty nice one. Good eating size. That ain't bad. That's what we're after today. Take a whole basket full of these. <laughs> Well, we didn't really clean up on them. Here's the best one. And uh, we got, oh, three more of these. And uh, I kept one of these uh, big war mouths. Um, it swallowed my hook. And... I didn't want him to go out there and die, so we're just going to eat him. He's big enough to eat. But, uh, well, we're going to take these home and uh, clean them up and fry them up and uh, have us some lunch. So, y'all come with me. All right, y'all. Well, for $10 worth of minutes today, <laughs> I got to start fishing with jigs. But 
You know, here's our crappie. We got it cleaned up. Um, we got enough here for lunch. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and we're about to cook it up. This is Laney's favorite part. And we got some. What do we got? We're, we've been drinking on some Mountain Dew. She's excited. We got some Mountain Dew. Got some guys. Mountain Dew, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got uh, fries over there. Our oil's heated up to about 350. We got, what's this, Laney? Cornmeal and flour. Cornmeal and flour, yeah. What else are we gonna put on it? Hmm. Mustard. Yeah, mustard. And the, we're gonna put a little hot sauce in it, too. But, uh, you better calm down. <laughs> Okay. All right, we're gonna add a little mustard to this. Not much. I've did this before, and I didn't dry my fish very well in a uh, recent ah. video. This fish is very dry. Uh, drained it real good. Uh, took a couple paper towels and just kind of rolled around, soaked up some moisture. This is really dry, so this will stick to it better. Here we go. Little bit of mustard. I'll mix that around a little bit more. I'm going to put a little hot sauce in here. Shake it, shake it. A little hot sauce and a little mustard. Yep, yeah, a little hot sauce and a little mustard. Hot sauce. I said a Yum. little. <laughs> I said a little. I'd say a little. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, it's All right, well, I'm going to mix this up with my hand and rinse my hand off. That's the best way I know to do it. You should get your drink. That's a soft cup. All right, I got them going again. Yeah, that's my drink. Don't drink all my Mountain Dew, lady. I won't. I'll drink a little bit. She'll drink it all. I won't. All right, here we go. <laughs> Cut these up pretty small so they'll be nice and crispy. That's actually a bigger piece. Why didn't y'all tell me she's back here putting her fingers in my drink? Quit! batch is ready. Yeah. Ready. Yummy. Yummy. Because we're happy and we know it. Yeah. We've been singing. We did be singing. And then Lanny, Lanny knocked the bowl off the counter so I know. <laughs> we're going to have to leave all the singing out now. If you're happy and you know it, have your hands clap, clap, clap. clap. If you're happy and you know it, Y'all better be clapping. Anyway, here we go. It looks pretty good, don't it? Down. 
I want to get the rest of this in there. We got one more little pan full. Yeah. Well, I can't tell a big difference between the mustard and hot sauce or mustard or hot sauce. It just gives it a little tang. But usually if I'm going to add hot sauce, I'll let mine soak for a while. We didn't do that with this. No. No, we didn't. But it no. seems like if you let that stuff marinate for an hour or so, it's definitely better. But uh, anyway, it's still good. But um, we're going to sit here and eat our lunch. Hope y'all enjoy this video. If so, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more like it, hit subscribe. Thank y'all. Okay.